Where do rivers start from, ma'am? Good question, Neetu. You will have to look into the journey of a river to understand this. Rainwater and melting snow from high mountains form small streams that start flowing down the slopes. They join and form bigger streams and rivers. Deserts are found at around 30 degree north and south of the equator. They receive very less or no rain at all. We do not find many trees or plants here, except for the cactus, acacia and so on. The scorpion, the desert fox and the camel are common here. Valleys are lowlands, normally found between hills or mountains. As rivers flow down plateaus or mountains, they carve out deep gorges and river valleys. The mountain ranges are sometimes so high that it is very difficult to cross them. There are narrow passages or gaps between the mountains and these are called passes. Plains are flat areas. They have very rich and fertile soil. They are usually densely populated as they are suitable for cultivation of various crops. Coastal plains are found along the borders of continents or along the coasts of seas or oceans. Before entering the sea or any other water body, the silt carried by the river stops its flow. This causes the river to break up into many small outlets and spread over a wider area known as a delta. Sometimes, the river flows directly into the sea without dividing itself. This is called an estuary. An isthmus is a narrow piece of land connecting two land masses with water on either side. A strait is a narrow channel of water that lies between two land masses connecting two water bodies. An island is land surrounded by water on all sides. A peninsula is land surrounded by seas on three sides. The southern part of India is a peninsula. The largest peninsula in the world is the Arabian Peninsula. What an interesting world we live in.